Good day, everybody. Kevin here from Bozone Boys. Today, I'm going to be testing my Stealth Mach 1 from PSE. If you haven't bought this bow, you're missing out. Super smooth, super quiet, and super light. This bow is impressive to buy. Today, I am going to go through the settings on the module and speed test it at each setting from shortest to longest at a green ratio of five grains per pound. For me, I always like to know what a bow will do at my draw length. And today, hopefully, after the testing is done, it will help you educate you on the purchase of this bow. So, let's get started. All the testing is going to be done with the high let off module at 90% let off. So I'm going to start at 25 inches according to the small setting and then work my way through the module settings to the longest draw. Well, the bow is a smidge short of 60 pounds, but I'm just going to use a, a 300 grain arrow for all intents and purposes. So is this shy 60? 60 times 5 is 300 grains. I'll look in my inventory and find out what arrow I have that will work for all draw lengths. So let's get chronographing. So, after some messing around with my arrow inventory, I'd settled on a HD Hunter PSE arrow, uh, size 520. I realized this arrow is going to be underspined, but I got it at 300 greens perfectly for the 60 pound Mach 1. Just a tiny 80, 66 grain tip and light fire knock. It's going to be weak, but it's gonna give me the green ratio I wanted for this testing. So we plan on going from 25 inches all the way to 30 and a half inches. So I needed a fairly long arrow and this is the one I settled on. So I was happy to have it. Well, I'm having some fun doing this, but now I'm up to chronograph time, and I like to have my chronograph level. So this is no secret, but this is how I level my my chrono. Test one. Final test, 30 and a half inches. Let's go. Cool.
That was the last one. <laughs>